If you like this video, please click like, uh, share it, subscribe, buttons down there. And if you want coaching with me in Nottingham or online, all the information is in the bio. How are you doing? So it's a quick one this week, but I have been sent a few messages and obviously comments asking me about queuing off the cushion and how to stop that miscue. Uh, obviously it's quite tough on the cushion, but it'd be quite accurate. And people are suggesting, oh, do I, they're asking questions like, do I need to change my technique? Do I need to pull my kickball further, shorter? You know, this, that, the other, which is not what you're going to be doing. You want to try and keep the same technique all the time. That repeatability that I talk about is very important. And here's a little tip here that I think will help you not miss cue. Check it out. Right, so here it goes. So I put the camera at that angle there so you can see what I'm doing with my cue. Uh, and also it makes me look quite tall, which is always a bonus. Uh, it's rare for me to feel like that. Although I'm quite a short six foot two. Right, so you see people playing this shot and you see them going down and they're gonna try a bit of peck. Oh no, bad one, right? A bit embarrassing as well. And obviously when you're trying a bit of pace, that happens more often and I get sent messages or ask questions saying, oh, do I need to pull my cue back further? Do I need to be shorter? Do we need any technical changes? And it's not what you need to do. Don't be changing any, anything to do with your technique. Obviously, it's not a comfortable position. You have to be probably closer to the cue ball than you want, but you know that's where you are, where you are. Like I said, the best way is to not land there in the first place, or if you like me playing lucky people that always land there, nightmare. Uh, but anyway, you're in this situation, you've got to deal with it. So yeah, like I say, you see people miss cueing and they think they need to change the technique or do anything. Stick with your technique that you can repeat. And I think this is a change that you can make that will help you. Right, so normal, in normal play, People are trying to get the cue as horizontal as possible. That's the rule, you know, the rule. Some people are a bit jacked up. Some people aren't. Again, you know, the, the, you've got quite a bit of space to do that. Too jacked up, obviously no good. But here, with that obsession with trying to get flat, it's probably not helping this situation. Because if you think about where you're coming from, you're coming from sort of there. A good way of trying to help is actually jacking the cue up a little bit. Now, it don't have to be a lot. So what that, how that helps is, if you're coming to the cue ball quite flat, it's very easy to go over the top of the ball, right? But if you just jack it up a little bit, you know, you're not, don't have to worry about swerving it too much because you're hitting so high on the white, you're still hitting the top of it. Because as you jack your cue up, the middle changes, you know, the, 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 the middle changes a little bit. So but don't worry, if you just jack it up a little bit, it gives you more of the white to hit and you can actually actually hit it quite hard then, like this. Look. So I didn't jack up too much. You know, people will try and get there, but I probably only went to about there, look. Which, on down on the shot, feels like you're, you're on your tiptoes. But it does, it's not that much of a difference from there to there. And that's all it is. And then you can actually hit it quite hard like that. So if you're struggling with that shot, try it. Again, you're told to get more horizontal, but with this one, it's probably worth just jacking the cue up a little bit. And you'll feel like you can actually hit it quite hard. Obviously, it's a tough shot, but again, it'll just help you not miss cue. So there you go. You might have to a little play around with it yourself to find that sweet spot. There is a nice, there is a good gradient that where you can actually play quite a few shots, you it quite hard. Obviously you've got to get your cue tip back there, which is not easy, but sometimes you know, you're in a situation where you've got to play a shot. Um, and obviously if you're doing it slower, then obviously it really helps you there because it, you know, it, it, it's hard to miss cue then. But um, yeah, have a little play around with it, uh, find what works for you and then you can crack on. So I hope that was all right. Comment below and I'll see you soon.